Hey y'all, Joe here tonight with Southern Coast Cooking coming at you. Tonight I've got some wonderful cod fillets from Wild Alaskan Company. Seafood straight to your door, Wild Alaskan Seafood. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these here on a plate. They come frozen. They just thawed this out in the refrigerator. The way, way to do it, just kind of cut it open here and get it out here on a plate for y'all. This beautiful white, no fishy smell or anything to them. Right here on the plate for you. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that flash on that fish. So I'm gonna open both of these up, give them a plate for you. So we got this beautiful wild Alaskan caught cod. We're gonna take some of these Malcolm Reed seasonings. These seasonings are very versatile. You know, on there, but first off, I am gonna take a little bit of duck fat spray. Spray on there. Just to make that's gonna help with flavor, it'll help the seasoning stick, everything else. To help the fish not to stick to what I'm gonna cook it on. Let's just take a little bit of this Heath Rylands, the everyday rub. And I'm gonna just put that, get a little coating like that on both sides. All right. And then we will get a little bit of, I just might sound, think it sounds crazy, but a little bit of his sweet rub. And it's gonna play well with this fish, especially with the glaze that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna get both sides of this. With a little bit of sweet sweet rub, a little bit of this every day. All right. I'm gonna let this marinate in the refrigerator just for a little bit while I get my glazing sauce in the oven ready. All right, heck, the wife done convinced me. No, y'all want to see me cook nothing in the oven half the time. Y'all want to see it in the YS640 or a cooker. So I'm gonna crank the YS640 350 out here, running some uh, apple flavored lumberjack pellets. And we'll let that roll. So while the grill's heating up, let me show y'all how we're gonna make the basting sauce. I've got two tablespoons of melted butter right here. I've also got me some of this stuff. You can find this in your grocery store. Anything, it's basically like a, it's a pepper paste, all right? Fermented soybean or red chili peppers. This stuff is really, really good, all right? Uh, if you had never tried it, you, you don't know what you're missing. But, Put you about that much down in there. That's about a tablespoon. All right, that's some good stuff. Then, Frank's Red Hot Stinging Honey Garlic Sauce. This stuff is fantastic, y'all. I use it in the chicken recipe that I got to show y'all here real soon. I use it in all kind of stuff, wing sauces, everything. But we'll put one, two, three, four five, six. I'm gonna call this about a teaspoon. So roughly two tablespoons of that in here. All right, that's some wonderful stuff right there. And then we'll come in here with some of this right here. You can find this at your grocery store too. Roughly the same amount. Get that one closest to three, four. That's about it, okay? So about half and half of these two, with a tablespoon of that pepper paste, and just we'll just stir this up, y'all, and we'll heat it up right before we spread it on there. That's going to be our base. So right here to Y six forty, I got these beautiful fillets right here on the on this little. This is a kind of porcelain coated cooking tray. Somebody give me, very nice of them. So that's what this is right here. We're going to put them over here on the Y640. They'll come a little closer. We'll maintain 350 degrees over here. So it's kind of hard to do out here tonight for some reason. There's rain and everything like that. See how we're rolling smoke right here? So I'm going to show y'all. Let me put my light over here so y'all can see it a little bit better. Pull you in some. Okay, so we'll go right here on the Y640. If y'all can zoom in there. See what we're looking at. Now we're going to shut it down. I'm going to check it here in about 10 minutes. So it's been less than 10 minutes, about 7 minutes. And I think we're probably ready to clip. I do not want to overcook this fish. I got my glaze out here. So hopefully I'm going to come from this side. I'm going to mess y'all up as far as what you can see. A little bit of this glaze. Just a little bit, just like that. Isn't that beautiful? And we're going to just kind of flip this fish, y'all. I've got some silicone coated 
pinchers here. Let's just hope the fritters don't fall apart. Might should grab a spatula. Throw a stick on here. Alright, here's what we're doing. Push it to the back. And there's the back stop. There we go. Using the heads. Alright, just like that. Alright. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of glaze right here. You can see that there. Alright, it's starting to get flaky. We'll go to a couple more minutes. I glaze them another time, and that's going to be about it, y'all. It's been about three more minutes, about 12 minutes total, I'd say. Kind of moving around a little bit. I'm taking some temp with a thermal pin here. What I'm shooting for is about 145. Let's see if y'all can see that. Hope you can, but we're about 111 or so. This little thinner piece, this is about 130, 38, 30, 40. Or right, that one's about done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them one more time. Because I just want to get that what I call the pretty side up. Oh, broke that one. I need that was gonna happen. That's okay. That's okay. Tell myself that. Now um Flip that one over, and I'm gonna baste it one more time right there, okay? And I'm gonna pull that little one off here in just a second. I'll zoom in. I just, I know, I'd love to watch somebody baste something. I don't know what it is, but just to baste it with glaze. And I cut right there, okay? So that is good, good right there. Oh yeah. So it goes just about a minute or so more. Get that target tilt. All right, y'all, we back up inside. We about to try this codfish. Right here from Wild Alaskan Seafood Company and Provisions. I've got a whole box of different little fillets of fish out there I want to try for me, but I'm, this cod oh, with this marinade, and that Heath Riles and seasonings on there. Well, let's just try this. I want y'all to look at it again. You see, you see the beauty of that fish. Let's go ahead and just take a little chunk out of this, this little side right here. I think that's, that's one of the prettiest little... Look how that's breaking up, flaking off. Wish y'all could just see the detail of the glaze on there. I mean, that is absolutely outstanding right there just look at that bite oh my word we gotta try this y'all <laughs> oh man it's gonna be good yeah I, that, that bite looks so pretty right there i'm just gonna take a picture of it i, I apologize i've got to get a shot i mean that is just perfection that just flakiness right there i'm sorry y'all taking a picture here while i'm on camera well, let's try that Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my. I'm telling y'all what. That is outstanding. Mm. I've never been a huge fan of cod, but the flakiness of that, the unctuousness, the sweet, deep flavor right there. Kind of fatty, really, really good. Almost a shellfish, like with that sweetness. It gives you that sweet heat punch from that sweet and spicy marinade, y'all. That is amazing. Goodness gracious. Mm, mm, mm. That's some good stuff, y'all. Mm, mm. Too what? I'm gonna order me some more of this. This cod right here. I'm gonna have me a dinner party. I'm gonna serve them on some little pieces of filet mignon, stuff like that, with some hollandaise or something. With just this marinade right there with some asparagus. That is fabulous. Y'all put a link to that cup in the description box. Thank y'all so much for tuning in with me tonight. God bless y'all. Y'all please like my videos, sub my channel. Y'all have a good one. My goodness, this is good, y'all. I'm telling you what. I can't believe I've waited so long for this. Mm-hmm. <laughs>